Minister Ruan Vijaywardhana commenced his tour by laying floral tributes at the fallen war hero Cenotaph, close to the Palali Airport, as a tribute to the soldiers who sacrificed their lives for the country. A guard of honor was accorded to the minister by the Light Infantry Regiment of the Sri Lanka Army. A group including Army Commander Lieutenant General Dharat Naika and Chief of Defence Staff General Jagat Jaya Surya were present for this occasion. <laughs> minister Vijay Wadhan, who arrived in the Irinamadu area in Kilinochi this morning, was welcomed by Commander Security Forces Kilinochi Major General Sudan Dharwana Singha. Thereafter, the military activity in the north and east came under the inspection of the minister. <laughs> We do not intend on swatting away the country's main concern of national security. What we want to do is rectify the mistakes which took place over the recent past and further strengthen national security. We will commit ourselves to gain the respect your service deserves. We will give priority in enhancing the professionalism of the troops. Over the recent past, many wrong views were spread to various areas. I have one request. Do not politicize this sensitive topic of national security with those factions. As a government, I very clearly state that the military strength in the north will not be reduced and the prevailing number of military bases will function without being dismantled. I believe that opportunities for the troops to join with the peacekeeping missions can be enhanced in due course while forging closer ties with the respective foreign nations. So I would like to state that we intend on making the required interventions to make this happen. <laughs> Defence Minister Ruan Vijay Wardhan, who visited the Muletiu Security Forces headquarters, held a discussion with Commander Security Forces Muletiu, Major General Jagat Das. Thereafter, the minister was honoured by the infantry forces with a guard of honour.